Hi, I'm Gus Jansen at HiTechnic. Today I'm going to demonstrate the RPM feature of the new HiTechnic angle sensor, as well as a program that displays the RPM on the NXT screen using a, an analog gauge, kind of like what you might find on a car. The angle sensor makes three kinds of value, values available to the NXT. You get the angle, which is going to be a number from 0 to 359, it's in degrees. You're going to get the accumulated angle, which is, uh, it could be a huge number, it goes on practically forever, it's a big 32-bit signed value. And you get the RPM, which, is, uh, which stands for rotations per minute. This is actually an angular velocity. So, if you get a value like for 100, 100 RPM, that would mean that if that angular rate was maintained for a whole minute, it would go 100 rotations. The program is written in uh, NXTG, let me go ahead and start it. So what you see is you actually get something that looks like an analog gauge right there on the NXT screen. The program also lets you control the motor that's connected on port A with these three buttons. The left button makes it go on low power. It actually uses a power value of 40. And that's a power value of 70, medium power, and then high power. And that's a full 100. So you can actually see the needle on the NXT screen going up. So that's about, oh, 100 RPM, almost 100. And that's almost 150 RPM. So to really give you an idea of what's happening, I'm going to go ahead and change the gears. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bigger gear on the motor to 36 tooth gear driving a 12 tooth gear. So this is actually a 1 to 3 gear ratio when the motor, every time the motor goes one time around the axle going into the angle sensor it's going to go three times around. So let me see what this does. You can see that needle going up to almost 200 RPM almost 300 RPM and this is over 400 RPM. So if I was to run that rate for a whole minute this would actually go 400 times around. Let's go one more gear ratio. Oops, I can't do that. I gotta take off the 12 tooth gear first. Alright, so now this is actually a, a 5 to 1, no sorry, a 1 to 5 gear ratio. Motor goes one time around, that axle going into the angle sensor goes 5 times around. Low power? Ooh, even at low power, we're almost 300 RPM. Almost 500 RPM. Whoa, 700 RPM. Wow, that's way up there. All right, so angle sensor, one of the features, RPM, that's what I'm demonstrating here. Uh, this program, you can download it uh, from the High Technic website. It uses the new sine cosine block. So it actually takes the RPM value from the sensor, using the angle sensor block, sort of determines where it should be on the circle on the screen, and then it uh, plugs that angle into the sine cosine block, which gives it a sine and a cosine of that angle, and from that it calculates the end point of the needle, and, it, and then it draws it using a display block. Very simple, there's three display blocks. The first one draws the empty RPM gauge, the second one draws the needle from the middle to wherever the values it figured out using the sine cosine block and then the third display block displays the text, the RPM text on the bottom. You can download it, there's a uh, version 1.0 and a 2.0 for depending on which version of the LEGO Mindstorm software you're using. Um, that's it, hope you enjoy.